G'day everybody, my name is Ralph Mayhew and it's a privilege to be with you on the Video Proc Converters channel today as we talk about how you transform a DVD into an MP4. That's right, you remember what those things are? DVDs? Like mirror discs? Yeah. You might like me like me and have some of these sitting around that have memories on them from a previous era that you want to have accessible and usable into the future so you need to transform these into a digital format and this is what we're going to do today. So it starts by heading to Video Proc Converters website, the link is in the description below. You go there and you download the free program. Now it's free providing you're going to rip a DVD that's less than five minutes footage. If it's over five minutes footage you need to pay the difference. You download that, you upload it to your computer and it looks like this. Then you take your DVD, pop it in, once you've got your DVD in you click on DVD and it opens up this window then you take your DVD icons on your desktop and you drag the whole thing in. It processes and analyzes that DVD and tells you that there's two tracks on here. Now I know there's two tracks on here and I know the first track is actually the introduction video that belongs to AJ Hackett and the second is My Jump. And My Jump's the one I want. Now here's the tricky part. If you go edit, it gives you the original track to play with. See, that's not my track. Now, here's what you need to know. If your video is track number one, you can actually cut that video to wherever you want. You select cut here and you can cut that video up and you can cut it into a section and then you can cut the last bit if you want it and it shows you the preview on the right and again you cut it and then when you export it, it puts all those together. But we don't want to export track one. Let's say instead of that, let's just delete that and delete that, we can use these other options and they do affect track two but you can't see that in the preview, right? So if you want to rotate left or rotate right, you can do that, you can even turn it upside down, you can crank up the speed, so you can have speed playback as super quick, we actually want it on zero, so we don't want any playback speed for us, but you can flip it vertically, you can flip it horizontally, you can do all those things, you can also apply all your effects to it, so you'll see that the effect isn't applied in the preview window, but it is applied to the result that you finally get out when you export it. You can add subtitles and you might have a file you want to um, put on, or if it's a particular video you can search for subtitles. You can crop to your heart's content and you can realign wherever you want that video to go. And you can add a watermark, which might be some text or a graphic that you already have on. So let's just go done. We're going to select track two. We're going to then go to here and we have a few choices when we get here. The video codec I always use is H2.64. Your frame rate, you can change your frame rate, but again, it starts to mess up and be a bit strange if you use different frame rates. So I would keep original. Now here's what's interesting. You can choose from all of these resolutions, but what I found is if you try anything that's higher resolution than what your video is shot at, it adds nothing to the quality that you end up with. So I would say keep original unless you want to make sure you get the most out of it. But honestly, if you do 4K and this is say a 1080p or a 720p, it will still come out the same quality. It just might take a little bit longer to do. Now you can go low quality, default or high quality. And my experience is there's about 30 seconds of processing time difference. So always go right up to high quality. The slow means it takes longer to process. You've got your codec options that are all set there. It can calculates the bit rate based on your resolution. So that's all pretty good. You can change uh, that to manual if you wish, but I'm going to go with auto calculate and then we go done. Now that means it's all set, ready to go. We can select, I'm going to use the high quality engine, which you can download if you choose. You can also make sure that I'm going to send it to where I want to send it. So I'm going to send it to my desktop and I'm going to go run. It gives you a chance to upgrade to the full. And so if your video is more than five minutes and you want to upgrade to the full, then you go buy now. Otherwise, you hit continue. And here we go.
It's super easy, it's super quick, and it's all yours for free with Video Proc Converter. I'd encourage you to download the free software, have a play with it, see if it meets your needs, and please subscribe to the channel. Give us a like, and if you've got any questions or comments that we can help you with, or a better way to convert DVD to MP4, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.